Today I am going to show you how I created this animation that looks kind of game showy. Wheel of Fortune was in my head. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I came up with this wacky idea. For this project, what I'm going to be using is a video format. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go and grab some shapes. Now you can use this only doing a square if you want to. I did mine a little bit. I tweaked it a little bit and made my own different type of frame and I used a trapezoid. So this little trapezoid up, you can use trapezoid up and trapezoid down. So what I want to do now is get my color straight for these two pieces. So I'm going to need to duplicate this because I'm going to have a different color set for these two than I am for this one. So this one I'm creating is going to be my background and these two right here are going to be my side pieces. But you don't have to do it that way either. I will show you another way to make that in a second. So I've got an extra one over here to show you that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do these first because it's going to be easier. So I'm going to grab this gradient here and then I'm going to come up and what I want to do is I'm going to have five colors in this. So I'm going to have this gray. So and then I am going to have black. So this one, these two pieces will have five colors. So if you want to use a different color, I would just swap out the grays and try it that way. And if you want to, I would use your the darkest of the colors on the outside so if you're like using a blue uh, for it or something like that turn these into the heaviest blue and this is lighter blue and this like a white or a pale blue if if you get what i'm throwing out there so i have this color set up now so i want to use this for my here and i want to use it here so i'm going to do put, put that there and for these, for this, I want to change the orientation on that. So I want to go into the second orientation here for these. So I am going to duplicate this and shush it down. No, let's not duplicate it. Let's do, let's get rid of that one and duplicate it once I got it where I want it. And then you're going to take this one and you're going to do like this. And then we're going to go over here and see what it looks like size wise on here. And if you like the size, what you're going to do is just duplicate it, put it on the other side like so. And then you're going to take this piece and put it in the, on the bottom. And if you like it at that size, what you're going to do is duplicate that and spin that around like this and then put it on top like that and I want to have that piece this needs to move forward let's see let's do this way move, bring forward and there we go so that's the frame that I like so I'm going to go into position and I am going to hit my control key and highlight all those pieces that are on my exterior frame I'm going to group them together and I'm going to move them off to the side so here's my top frame now we need our back piece. So I'm going to go into my color here. I'm going to grab the same colors we used for this, but I'm going to do one extra thing. I am going to add a white. So I'm going to grab a white. And then what I'm going to do is move that to the center. Ooh, maybe move it to the center. Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. Move it to the center with the other white. So it'll be dark, medium, light, medium, dark. So that'll be, that way it'll give you the, that rounding feel. Now for your frame, you don't have to make a custom one. You can also do this. You can go, uh, get your border weight up to whatever size you want. Take your center piece, make that transparent. And then you can just change your border colors. We can grab one of these colors here and you can also make a frame like so. I would do it kind of different colors, but We'll just put it back over to black so you can see. You can also do something like that if you want to do it simple without making a custom frame to go over top. But we'll get rid of that one for now. So now that I have this set up the way that I want, what I'm going to do now is you can size them whatever way you want. 
for your size. If you got a long word, you got a short word and you want it big, you got a just whatever you want to do. You got a long word, you need to make them small, however you want to do it. So we're going to highlight that, move this over a little bit. And now what I want to do is go grab some text. So I'm going to grab heading. I'm going to go in here and make it something. Let's do horizon. Um, I'm going to put a letter. Let's say. What do you want to say, y'all? Year. I don't know. I'm just picking out a random word. All right. So you want one letter in each text box. So I'm going to do that. I am going to do double click E. Well, that ain't, that ain't how you spell year. Oh, my, my. Oh, mercy. It is early in the morning and I am just doing some goofy stuff. R. Now, match and move can be fickle. So be very careful if you use a word that has a lot of same letters. Because if you put a letter here, it's the same letter here. Sometimes it'll take the one from all the way on this side of the page and slide it here and it'll look weird. So just be forewarned that if you're going to use something with the multiple of the same letter you might have some transition issues. Um, I think another way you can kind of skirt around that is if maybe you do multiple colors within your words. Maybe take it from a black, if you're using black, maybe to like a, a really dark gray, and it could skirt that, that issue. But that's something I need to test drive. So if y'all test drive that, please leave that in the comments because I would love to know. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your first letter and put it here. You're going to highlight this. You're going to duplicate it. You're going to bring it over and line it up like so. And then when you have your first letter ready, what you want to do, we're going to get our position tabs up because it's going to be very important. So I'm going to take my second letter and I'm going to put it in the first box because it needs to come over to the second, right? So I'm going to put that here, line it up. And then what I'm going to do is take it to the bottom. So it's behind that box. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to highlight them because I need to take these two and move it down to where my E is. And then what you want to do is you want to take the top frame part and put it over top of the E and the, the box part below the E. So you're, when you look at it, your letter should be lined up like so. And the one thing I forgot to do is my Y. So see how these two boxes are here? I need to do that for my Y. So it needs to be in between the frame and the box. So when you test it, you can see it come in like so. And we'll test our E. I would test each one as I go through just to make sure I got it right. Because that's kind of the way I do it. Just to make sure that I got them going in between that box and that frame. So once you got that letter set up, what you're going to do, you're just going to duplicate the box right there. And you're going to go again. You're going to go to the one before. You're going to take that letter and place it there. You're going to move that down to the bottom. You're going to highlight these. And the reason I'm highlighting them is because I can see what set of boxes I need to move. So then I'll take those and move that down with my A. I'm going to click on the bottom solid box and put that below my A. And then what I can do now is I can duplicate. Uh-oh. Oh, and it only took one. Highlight these two, duplicate it, bring it over. And then what I'm going to do is grab my R, bring it where I want it. Take that down to the bottom. Highlight these two so I know those are the two that I want to move to go with my R. And then I'm going to bring that down where I'm with the R. And I'm going to take the frame part and put it above my R. So as you can see here, you have a frame, a letter, a fr and a back piece. And then if you want to, just for safety purposes, I think it would be good practice is just to make sure when it's coming out, it's going to come out there. I'm just going to bump that a little bit there. So what you can do now is you can highlight these and then kind of put them where you want to. 
Since for this, I used my background as the same as the this, it hides that Y right there. But let's say you want to use a different color. Let's use the Canva color here. What you're going to do is have to have something to hide here. So what I would suggest is you go over to Elements, grab another um, square right here. Um, as far as orientation, if you're going to do a background color that's a gradient, do it in the horizontal, the second one style here. And then you're going to take your square and do the same way. That way it will match. And then you just put that to the top, to the bottom, and then just hide that here. Um, if you, you can do a photo, same thing. If you're going to do a photo, set your photo up. Let's go. We'll go here real quick. Delete this. Let's grab a photo. So what I'm going to do is line that up over top like so. And then what I want to do is duplicate that, put it over top. And then what you're going to do with your photo. Hold on, let's put that in position. Let's put that P. The big one's going to go in the back, of course. And then you're going to just, oops, not move that piece around. Come on, grab what I want to grab. Grab this and then just line it up and hide that letter. And then take that piece to the edge like so. And then you can have that lined up. Let me bump because it's going to drive me crazy if I don't bump. And then that's how you're going to hide it with uh, that. But we're going to take these off for now so we can see. So I'm going to delete that and delete that. All right, and we're going to go back and turn this back to black. All right. So now I have my word. Let's start animating. So let's get my positions tab up. And what I want to do now is I want to duplicate. I am going to grab my first letter, which is the Y. I am going to move it over. I am going to duplicate again. I am going to move my E over to where I want it. I am going to uh, duplicate the page again, grab my A, move it over. I am going to uh, duplicate again, and then I'm going to grab my R, and I am going to move it over. Now, once you have that all done, what you want to do is go between your pages down at the bottom, apply your match and move, set your duration all the way up, apply between all pages, and then we're going to go up here and set our timing. Let's try to do 1.5. Let's see where it winds up. Oh, that's at 1.5. 1.5. All right. So click, one click, two click, three clicks. Oh, took. Three clicks to get them all to 1.5. So now that I got them at 1.5, let's play through and see what we have. Y, E, A, and R. So I have that now. So what I want to do, if you want them, I can duplicate this page here if I want to. And since this is the whole word, bring that to the front. Do... I match and move, go and apply between all pages, and then check my time and oh, my time and changed. Wow, okay, all of them changed kind of crazy. 1.6, and you can do something like that where it spins in like that. So you have the whole one, then it'll go out. And then if you want to do the same, so your second page right here is where it's empty, you can duplicate that page. Move it to the end, like this. Wow, nothing's traveling, isn't it? Apply between all pages. Fix the timing. And then we'll look at this last little bit here. And then they can spin back out. So that's just a couple little tricks you can do to add on to that. And like I said, be forewarned if you're using something with multiples of the same letter and you start seeing some weird stuff happening, 
is because match and move is getting confused. So if I have two E's, sometimes it'll get confused with the two E's. Sometimes it won't. So just be forewarned, that could be an issue that you would arise if you're using a bunch of multiple letters that are the same. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Maybe just doing a hair bit of a variation of a color when it comes to those um, might be the solution for that. It's something I need to test out and see if that'll work. But that's it for this tutorial. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.